So we had some cyclists have a drive-by. Here's an amazing sculpture. Wounded heart. Yeah, a couple of days ago, uh, about two dozen cyclists were on a training ride together. And um, in the oncoming lane, somebody in a pickup truck, the kind of vehicle it was doesn't matter, but pickup truck crossed the line in a deliberate move to intimidate or create space or something, you know, don't know what it was in somebody's mind, but it was a deliberate move and startled the group. The lead rider in a moment of untrained panic, even though he was at the head of the line, um, moved abruptly. Somebody went down, went to the hospital. Driver of the vehicle got away. The lack of grace in that moment to try and create space that he didn't need in his protective shell. Truck has an awful lot of uh, armor built into it. Cyclist is wearing fabric, styrofoam helmet. Um, the vulnerability that someone on a bicycle carries is typical of our souls in this age. What I will say is that everyone gets to tell their story and life is not a cartoon. We may have been raised on hitting each other on the head and bouncing back, having, having our lives redrawn by some creator, but it actually hurts more than that. For some reason, the body-soul-spirit unity is um, yet to be fully comprehended by this age. They think that it's a cartoon, a toy, a game, and it's not. Uh, it's got consequences, and um, as we learn to take care and watch out for each other, we'll make a big difference. Life is not a cartoon, <laughs> and we will get to tell our story. Even the driver of the car is probably telling someone what he felt about it. But to be intimidated by 24 people on bicycles is, um, if we think about it, a little bit lame. Um, everybody being comfortable with their story and uh, watching out for the other person will make a difference. We protect those who need the protection. They will live a life of liberty. And in that liberty, there is grace.